began today, Karen three back, and she got the first birdie of the day of the two. This was at the fourth. It's been a good ball striking week for Shibuno thus far. Hasn't been terrific yet on the greens, but that's a good one there. One hop and stop, it should be good. Oh, that is really good, Jerry. What a shot. Really hard to hit that night. Okay, so Hyoju Kim makes birdie. A very stress-free birdie, I'll say that. Seven. Sejin Choi for a birdie. There's a number of players at four, five, six under par that still have a chance. She is one of them. Little breaker to the right here, and let's look behind her, and it's in. So she gets to minus six. Here's Jutanagar now with her second at the seventh. Staring it down like it must be going straight. And that's a beautiful shot. Hit a draw up against that wind. It held its slide nicely and down. It needs to be the number. Mm, one of the best. That is really, really good. Back at the eighth, Hedge and Choi to save her par. I haven't really taken for granted that she be, but she's been so solid on this length, but she tends to hit him in with a good amount of conviction as well. She might have done just that. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly where she was aiming right there. And for trying to force birdies out here just becomes so counterproductive. Boy, that was a good looking putt there too. The thing with Hyoju Games, Mark, is it looks so simple because it is. I mean, the swing is it's straight back, it's straight through. Just two yards closer, 122, 50 degree wedge was, I believe, the signal from the caddy. Sounds about right. Very similar line. Well, it could have took a little bit of a forward bounce, but Shibuno for a three at the par four. Very straight looking putt from the front part of the green. Got a little left of the line early and stayed there. Good effort, though. be disciplined to begin with to make a target like mm. that. All right, Hedge and Choi with a beautiful par putt at nine. That's a good three. And what's this? Just a tiny head movement. Doesn't even look up at the flag. Looks at a spot just in front of her. Very low, solidly struck. Wow. That is crazy good. I think when you're playing Jerry and you, you know the kind of holes that are coming up on the back nine at 16, 17, and the trouble that is around, it's kind of nice to have a huge cushion. The cushion just got bigger, yeah. and even Hanako Shibuno liked that one. For her third. This is off the line, down the whole side of the line, not much sand under it. Big lip in front of her. That is a touch of class right there. Wow. that up and down. Well, this is Hedge and Choi now for a par, much needed par at 11. This screen way to the left. No surprise there with the water on the right end. How about that five? Wow. Here's Shibuno now at nine. That's the shot right there. A little bump and run. Perfect technique for it though, Jerry. Really, uh -huh. with, the, with the way that she locks in those elbows and just kind of rotates the shoulders. 
kind of anchors the weight over on her left side. Yeah, I like that. That was really nicely done. That was textbook there. Played the hole really the way it has to be played. A little harder bunker shot today from this front left bunker. Longer shot to this back flag. Mm. Had a good sound and a great look. It did. She made it look equally as uh, simple as yesterday's hole location. Solheim Cup teammate Jennifer Cupcho. For birdie at the 18. How about this first event since the biggie for Jennifer Cupcho? And certainly the first time she's competed in an LPGA event in the U.S. She's played twice at the BMW. Here she comes. Oh, big comeback after that three putt at nine. To 12. It's 15, this actually. Is 15. Yep. Yeah. And this was just a moment ago, Grant. Another Gemma. hard par for three. Yeah, Jenna Dryborough for a birdie from 70 feet. And that oh. is the reason we showed it to you. She almost made it from the 12th. Allison Corpus for par at the 14th. She's even par for the day after a couple of early birdies, but now she'll fall to plus one for the day, minus one for the tournament. And a tie for 20th place. Made her first career LPGA cut earlier this year. not going to keep the ball out of the hole unless it's going too quickly. Ooh. She ticks off another hole up by three. Well, and that's it. I mean, that's it's the time is running out now, isn't it? And she just is plodding along, doing what she has to do. I mean, and, and she's left a number on the table, too. Yes, I agree with Dom. Oh, how about that? <laughs> what a shot and what a time to hit it. Nope, that was a terrible putt. Really miserable. She hit the third shot with some freedom. This is Hedgen Choi at the 14th. She's moved into a tie for third. Little awkward ball below her feet from the rough. I'm not sure. Well, she had to be expecting that to hop just a little bit deep. This was just earlier. Area Chutanagarn, who's having a struggle out there today. She's an even par for the championship. But this will be a bright light on an otherwise cloudy day for Area. That's a little left to where she wanted, but there's some slope there, perhaps. Yeah, that's okay. I was a little surprised. She got distracted there. That's the softest I've seen a 30-footer hit all week. That was well judged. And that's what you can afford to do when you have a three-shot lead. Shibuno. Cannot afford to do that. That was clipped as you like. A little too much steam. Shibuno's not got to hit this one with some authority. Yeah, no danger here. Give it a good run. Turning a little left. Did it. What a putt. Looks like seven iron. She was one to hold. Showed you that she almost won a minivan, and maybe she wants to drive one herself here. Yep. Yep. Uh, Just when she needed it, so two great chance. iron shots in a row. Just to stay up by two. Hedge and Choi now for birdie at 13. Just to get to minus seven, which would 
be within shouting distance. Very nice putt there. She gets to minus seven. Oh, she clipped it nicely. That's going to take one big hop and then spin. Okay, she's got a chance. Next spot. That was pulled all the way. And hit just a little bit too hard. Maybe just a little bit of an anxious stroke there. She doesn't remark it as uh, as most do. You notice that she'll just having to get the line on the ball or the lettering or even the numbers just in a perfect spot as Kim goes ahead and taps in for her par. Yeah, one of the harder holes on the golf course. T moved up today, coming in with a middle iron, back right hole location. Shibuno to stay two back. Okay, nice look. Fearless. That have been the unfortunate recipient of some penalty shots because of the old rule. Really good speed, not going to go in, but really good speed. Goal accomplished there. And continues to put the pressure on Shibuno to have to make birdie to make up ground just one bogey today for Joju who really fought back in the last five holes starting here at 14 yesterday after a couple of Did fly far enough yeah. yep it's just what she had to do I think almost looked like it went a little left up yeah, there. So. I mean, if it broke right, it broke maybe a ball of that, but I didn't see hardly a thing. Ashley Buhai quietly working her way around Hoakale, designed by her friend Ernie Els, fellow South African. Mm -hmm. Maybe feeling a little mojo from Ernie. Just to stay at seven under and then have a chance to maybe birdie 18 and get to eight. And need something more dramatic to happen at 18. Not an easy flag to get to an 18 for that, but you would not expect Goju Kim to miss this one. Lead remains two. It's been a fun week for Allison Corpus. This to finish at two under. From Honolulu, went to Punahou School. Like Michelle Wee, broke some of Michelle Wee's records as a junior here in Hawaii. It's been a fun week for Allison Corpus. This to finish at two under. From Honolulu, went to Punahou School. Like Michelle Wee, broke some of Michelle Wee's records as a junior here in Hawaii. Another really good looking shot in the air. Pretty good on the ground as well. And take a bow. She's had some chances. Last two holes, in fact. Well, that's her normally wide putting stance and happens to straddle the line of Brianna Doe. So I am that low, but she does consistently. Just a lengthy chip shot almost. Not going to hurt her. Not at all. Getting a little better. 
she'll putt first. It Cooled her a bit, but no harm. And again, the pressure goes to Shibuno. Actually, Buhai's been at it a long time, Mark. Yeah, she's been at it a long time on this hole. Had a bad drive. <laughs> Missed the green, chunked her chip. Oh, and then knocked it in. <laughs> <laughs> She did hit the 18th green in two. However, it bounded over, just took relief from the the stands. Let's see if she can cozy this one up close. And Karen, even though she's not going to. Just about uh, three and a half feet for birdie for Choi. Yeah, this would be a nice way to finish and take some momentum to L.A. Shibuno now for a three at 17. Up the hill into the wind very much on the slower side. Just a big long stroke. Probably gave it a good wrap. <laughs> Rolling nicely. Oh. Wow, what a putt. Stays at minus nine. Looked like it had plenty of speed. Just rolled right over the front edge. First bogey, the second nine. Game of inches, Karen. The second shot at yep. 18 for Shibuto. Cleared the bunker, but came back in. It's a bogey-free final 36 holes for Anako Shibuno. She'll have her best finish. Their average is six and a half feet from this range. She's beaten it. How about it? Just a foot left, and she's a world beater. Hyoju Kim, her fifth career victory. Fifth different part of the globe that she's gotten it done. She wins the Lotte Championship.